So in my last video about uh, calculus, someone commented saying I did something wrong, and uh, I probably found out yes, I did something wrong. So uh, what we got here is um, two things being divided, but then I used this one too fast, and what happened down here? But this is a division problem. I can't just use a multiplication. So in order to change it into two things multiplied together. We take the de denominator and bring the numerator and then we use the whole thing to the power of negative one though we spoke later on. So now this is F and this is G. This is G. And then we use our special technique to do this. So our normal F derivative of G plus the derivative of f times g. And also in the last video, this, this one really, uh, this one really hard to figure out, but I have it listed here. So, um, if you read like g, you can actually write as 2 to the negative 1 times x cubed to the negative 1. And I've already derived So, let's think that this one is f and this one is g. And then we're, we're going to use our original, uh, so let's see, f, derivative of g, derivative of f, and g. Now since this is a zero, anything that gets multiplied by a zero is zero. It's gone. So we gotta focus on this part. A half times negative three is negative three half. So there we go. Moving on to the next step. Then we need sort of like substitute this in. So let's multiply it this by this and then this one thing by this. So if we do that we get this bunch here. And also that's over here we have two x times two x cubed every one. And we move that back into the denominator as a normal power. And now we can uh sort of simplify things uh as shown here. So now what we're left with is one over x squared or x to the power of negative 2. N the next step is to squeeze out a half from these three terms. You do that, you get this over here. So this whole thing doubles, but I put a, ne but I put a half to make sure it gets halved back into the last step. And now you see there's like 2x to the negative 2, right? We can actually, uh, we can actually make them interact, so, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, and then this stays in the same place, and now we need, and now we need to multiply the half back, so, negative 1 times a half is negative a half, negative 3 times a half equals negative 3 halves, and so when you write the whole expression down, it's going to look like this. But the thing is, if you add a negative number, it's a, it's the same as subtracting the positive version of that number. It, but we write positive numbers, we don't write plus 5, we write 5. And so if we, and so we can actually just, and so we can actually just remove the plus and there we have it. The end. The derivative of x squared plus 1 on 2x cubed is negative a half x to the power of negative 2 minus 3 halves x to the power of negative 4. Solve. Um, um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks, thanks for watching this video. If you want me to erase more calculus or you know, videos, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later.